I think we just came up on our first shed. Let's see. Yep. That's a huge one. Well, chewed up, but it's big. Oh my gosh. Wanna go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. <laughs> I just went 100 yards in and that was laying right on the trail. That's a really big deer, actually. It's old and chewed up, but that's a big buck. Yeah, it is. So we're gonna park the truck. We're gonna go walk this, I think. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. We really didn't know what to expect. We really just were gonna drive around, walk a bunch of public, and it was more of a scouting mission than it was even a shed hunt. Having two points my first year, I feel like I had pretty good odds drawing a bow tag. And only being three or four hours from where I want to hunt in Missouri should be no big deal just to hop over after Missouri and try to hunt some Kansas public land. One. Seems, a lot, seems a lot like Iowa. <laughs> Find one shed 100 yards from the truck and then walk miles and just need that one though to get you excited. Yeah, that's all it took and we started walking much further. Uh, but I think we're gonna walk this ridge all the way back and then kind of work our way back to the truck and call for the day. Well, we didn't get skunked. We got one and we walked a lot of ground. So, I mean, I got a pretty good idea what this property looks like in here. So. Sweet. Day two in Kansas, walking some public and uh, really just exploring, driving the truck around a bunch today, marking pins, dropping anything that looks you know, remotely good that we might wanna walk. Found some pretty good sign yesterday, found a shed yesterday. We're trying to cover as much ground as we can today. We wanna turn and burn, just uh, walk it if it looks good, start dropping pins. If it doesn't, get out of there and uh, find somewhere else. So just arrived at spot number one, day two. Finally found some food. This is the most promising food we found the whole trip. This is only day two. Today was, I'm not gonna say it was a bust, but we walked around a lot of useless ground trying to find something and it wasn't very good, but there's a lot of corn in here. Just gonna cruise around here, find hopefully some good promising deer signs, some deer trails, and then we're gonna walk the trails, hopefully to wherever it is they're bedding. Today, I don't think I have. No. <laughs> Day three of shed hunting Kansas. We found one shed. This is th the third day? Third day. Yikes. It's uh, public land stuff. It's for the birds. It's not something I'm used to, but quite a few trucks. It's a beautiful day. There's a lot of people out walking today. And uh, yeah, we got a couple more spots, hour and a half left of daylight. Have a few spots that I would potentially come back and hunt, I think. Uh, it's just been been pretty tough. It's all a learning experience. Probably stop at Missouri on the way home and kind of just hit the Missouri lease real quick, see what's on that, and be heading back to Michigan. So we just transitioned over from Kansas over to the Missouri lease and my buddy Chris is nice enough to give us a four-wheeler to cruise around on, it's kind of nice. Got some blisters on the heels. This is a big two-acre white gold food plot behind me. Um, we're gonna kind of cruise around the edge of this and definitely cruise around these soft edges around the edge of this food plot and up in these cedars and have quite a few different areas we wanna check on this farm. So gonna cruise the quad around for maybe a couple hours grab a couple of these cameras. The battery's been dead for a little while, so pick some of those up and 
yeah, more or less just wanted to stop by the Missouri Lease. It was like half an hour out of the way on the way home. So I'm gonna check this real quick and uh, yeah, probably won't be too long and we'll be heading back to Michigan. Well, she's fine. What a mega. That one. It almost looks like bully bucks. Does it? From the previous year. Wow. wow. At least we're getting some sheds at the end of the day here. Yep. Not too bad. Dang, they definitely like this area, don't they? They do. All right, let's keep on looking. Well, that's a wrap on Missouri. Heading back home, back to Michigan. Had a really good trip. Found uh, one shed in Kansas, found five or six in Missouri. Uh, so definitely ain't coming home in empty handed. Got some knowledge that we gained in Kansas. Got some areas we wanna come back and hunt. So the trip was definitely worth it. And uh, we had a great time. We can't wait to be back out here chasing after some whitetails in the 2022 bow season.